today we're going to be making Christmas stockings. I've wanted to make stockings for years now and I finally got round to it and these are some very cute quilted stockings. I've just released the pattern for these on my website and I'm also selling a few on my website that I've made um, but if you fancy giving it a go yourself and making one then this video will show you exactly how to do that. So here's an example of one of my stockings. This was my first test run actually that I made. Um, so this is the one I've made for the tutorial. You can use any fabrics you like. Um, you can even do it without the cuff at the top. I made one that's plain with no quilting. Um, so you can literally customize the pattern however you like. You've got a good amount of size inside this stocking and it comes with a cuff and this little tie at the top so you can hook it onto your fireplace or banister. So if you fancy making your own the pattern is linked in the description bar and let's get on and I'll show you how I made them. We're going to start by printing the pattern out. You're going to want to make sure you're printing it at 100% scale and this pattern can be printed on an A4 or a US letter size printer. Then you can choose whether you want to print the instructions or not. These don't have to be at 100% scale and you don't have to print these. You can just follow along on your computer or your phone. There we go. I now have my instruction booklet printed out and my pattern. So we're going to start by arranging the pattern and the stocking has two rows of four. You're going to need to trim some of the edges so that you can fit the pattern pieces together and line up the registration marks. Once you've trimmed down the side I take a glue stick and run it along one of the seams and then find the registration marks. I glue all the pages down with a glue stick first and then I go in with some tape to stick them down. There's three pattern pieces in total so once you've cut all of those out we can move on to cutting out the fabric. For the outer fabric I like to use a printed cotton and you need to make sure you're cutting the fabric with a mirror image. So make sure the good sides of your fabric are facing each other when you're cutting out the stocking. Because I'm quilting this fabric I've added some extra seam allowance around the edge. So there we go, as you can see the shapes are a reflection of each other, they're not exactly the same. Then you're going to need to cut out your hanging loop in the same fabric. This won't be quilted, so just once you've cut that, that's ready to go. Then go ahead and cut out your lining. You'll need two mirror image pieces for this as well. Um, I just use a really plain cotton for the lining, something that's gonna match the color of the cuff so that it doesn't look too stark of a difference on the top of the stocking. And whilst you have your lining fabric out, cut one piece of your cuff out in the lining. Then for the fabric of your outer cuff, I like to use something that's got a little bit of texture to it or has a really contrasting print. I've gone for this striped linen and it actually wasn't thick enough to use as a cuff so I added some interfacing. Um, all of my other my other stockings that I'm selling on my website are made with a really thick linen and it holds a really nice shape. But you don't have to use a thick fabric. I would just recommend interfacing the fabric if it is a little bit flimsy. I then cut two pieces of wadding also on the mirror image. So that should be everything cut out now and ready to make the stocking. So first things first, we need to quilt the outer fabric. You can quilt the fabric however you like. I like to do this sort of crisscross pattern. So I take some tailor's chalk and mark out lines that are four inches apart. And the wadding I use has a fusible side, so I fuse it to the back of the outer fabric and give that a good press, make sure it's all nice and stuck on, and then I go ahead and stitch on the quilting. When I'm machine quilting, I use a long stitch length. So just carry on until you've finished quilting both of your outer pieces. Then you're going to want to put the stocking pattern back on top and trace around it. 
This will just give you a really nice clean edge and make sure all of the stitching is caught in the seams. Once you've cut out your quilted stocking pieces, you can then put them good sides facing and we're going to stitch all the way around the outside, not stitching across the top. And you're going to stitch with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Now we're going to trim the seam allowance on the tight curve. You want to trim it so that there's about 0.5 centimeters left there. This removes bulk and makes the stocking sit nice and flat when it's finished. Now we can turn the stocking the right way around and make sure all of the corners are pushed out nicely and give it a good press. For the stocking lining we're going to start with both pieces facing good sides together and we're going to stitch all the way around but we're going to leave a gap so that you can pull the whole stocking through this hole at the end. It's a good idea to mark the hole with some pins so that you remember not to sew that bit. So go ahead and stitch around the stocking with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. As we did with the outer stocking, we're going to trim some of that seam allowance away just around the tight curve. Now we're going to move on to creating the hanging loop. So to create this, you're going to want to fold the long edges in by one centimeter and press that down. And then fold in half and press again. Then take it over to your sewing machine and stitch it closed. Then fold the whole thing in half lengthways and just add a few tacking stitches at the end so it's ready to put on stocking. Now let's work on creating the cuff. So we're going to take the outer and the lining and have them good sides facing. Then we're going to stitch 1.5 centimeters around the sides and the bottom. You'll now need to trim the sides and the corners so that when we turn it through there's not too much bulk in the corners and you get a nice crisp edge. Spend a bit of time finding the edges of your cuff once you've turned it back the right way around and then once you've found the edges give it a good press so that it stays in place. attach the cuff to the stocking. Start by finding the top center notch on your cuff and we're going to line that up to the edge of the stocking. Pin it on all the way around the top and then we're going to stitch around that with a one centimeter seam allowance. And whilst we're at the sewing machine we're also going to stitch on the hanging loop on the opposite side. We're now going to attach the lining. So to do this you're going to want to put the outer stocking inside the lining, matching up the top seams and pinning all the way around. Then we'll take it over to the sewing machine and stitch all the way around with a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance. Now find the hole in the lining and grab hold of the outer stocking and pull it through. This can be a bit fiddly so just be patient. Once it's looking like this, you can then stitch the lining hole closed. You could do this by hand or I just top stitch it flat. Then I give it a good press on both sides with the lining facing up. And then I'll put the lining back inside the stocking and press all the way around the top. So there we go, there is your finished quilted stocking. Pattern is available on my website and I will leave it linked in the description bar below. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.